Hello everybody, Jay Cranky here, and in this video I will tell you why you should never use Scala's option.get. Stay tuned. So before we tell you why you cannot use option.get and you cannot, not should, but you cannot, don't use it. Let's first recap what an option actually is so that you know what we are talking about. I will start by modeling it for you. In Scala, option is basically an abstract type called option. This abstract type can have only two kinds of elements. It either is a sum or a noun and that's it we could model it like this and this and this is all there is to it the main goal the only goal of an optional type is to model when a given field that you have in your application is like the name say optional so if you have something you have a known if you don't have anything you have a known which means nothing is there for you to to work with and the baseline the key point of all of that is that you since you know that a given field is optional you have to do with that you have to do with the fact that the field might not be there at all and then you have to do something about it right you cannot simply let your application explode because of that so you have to handle the exceptional case which is not exceptional actually because you just declared that the field is optional so you know it might not be there so you better know what to do if it's not there so let's tell why you should not use option get it which is one of the operations that the option type has so the first thing i want to do is explain why i'm talking about this now which is because i've been seeing this pattern and production code for a while in the last months about the last months but since forever i would say but especially in the last few months and this causes lots of headaches this causes lots of problems so i, I will explain why it's where that is with uh, the hope of making this happen less often in other people's projects and maybe in my own projects in the future as well first thing is that each time you use option.get you are creating tech debt this means that in the future someone will have to do with that as we will see in uh, in a minute this is troublesome option that get is troublesome will cause uh, headaches someone will have those headaches in the future so that's why it's tech debt that you are creating in your project the root of the problem is that option dot get throws an exception it creates an exceptional case in a, in a place in your application where otherwise it was supposed to be a common case that you should handle you should properly do with each breaks the flow of your application completely it makes it unpredictable it also results in a very hard to read message because the error message will be simply no such element none.get and this is not, is not very helpful in debugging sometimes the error message will point to the line that caused the problem and then you can read the line and guess where the problem is um, but then sometimes you are deep into several options and one of them could be missing or something like that so it gets really tricky to debug also in a more philosophical way you could say that option.get violates the essence of an, what an option is because it's trying to extract something that cannot be there by force and thus turn the exception so it's a sort of using an option conceptually for a reason and then simply ignoring that reason so why is it, is it option in the first place now there are better ways to do that there are ways to properly deal with options so let's talk about that first thing is considering we have some kind of name that's an optional or an option of string as you can see here we might be tempted to do something like which is a uh, name that get which is exactly what we are saying to not do so I, as soon as this code runs if the option is there if there is a value inside this option everything's fine then you have we can even rename this to be to make it is slightly clearer and then we can do this like that 
this is slightly more clear with, uh, regarding the intention so we could do that the problem is that if the optional name is not there then we have an exception on that will just say no such value which is uh, not helpful what should we do instead then so never do that this is not safe this will break in the future it will cause technical debt like i just mentioned someone in the future or even you in your own project in a few uh, months in the future a few years in the future you have to maintain that you will simply see a non dot get and you will be really pissed off so instead of you have a few options let's talk about two of them the easiest and most straightforward one is to use or else so it basically mandates you to provide the default value which means that if the name the optional name in this case is not there you just return whatever um, you think is a reasonable default so let's say no name in this case so if there is no name there we return the string no name we have a default value everything's fine this is one of the ways of doing that another way of doing that is using pattern matching and then you can fine grain control what's going to happen even in this this case would even allow you to actually throw an exception if that what you really want you should not want that but if you do then the right way to do it would be using a pattern matching so that you can throw one exact exception that you choose and this also would let you add a proper error message so let's have a look how this would look like we can have these again so we start exactly like we started before but instead of get or get dot else we will say match open the pattern match block So this pattern match block is basically saying if we have a value for this option, do this. In this case, we just return n. So we extract whatever value is there uh, from the inside the optional. Now, if the uh, name, the optional name is not there, we have this known case and we have to do something about that. So you could again return the default value this which shows you clearly that the getter else is a sort of a, sim a simplification or a syntax sugar for this uh, more uh, specialized case but this is what would also allow you to have fine-grained control so if you want something more specific like in this case like I mentioned draw an exception you could so throw you say runtime exception and then say no value found for name And now you have a, a very specific message saying exactly what was not found and this will help you a lot when debugging for example you shouldn't be throwing exceptions in your, in your application but if you really need it do it in a more friendly way so that it's easier to debug the code later okay to conclude then do not use option that get i hope this is uh, clear enough by now don't do it the option type in scala is a powerful tool for modeling optional fields if that's what you really want it also means that you really need to deal with the fact that the value sometimes is not there so always keep that in mind and use either get or else or use better matching and properly handle all, all those cases and your code will be way way better and safer and easier to deal with so please no option does get anymore right good awesome now supposing you are getting into a project right now and you know there's lots of options that get and you don't really want to go control find and trying to find those magical gets there are a few tools that can help you with that one of them is the svg wart remover plugin kind of thing i don't remember the exact name but something like that i will put the link in the description of the video and this tool helps you finding lots of code smells in your code base one of them is finding.get so just use uh, this guy enable the find.get option and you should get warnings for every, every place in your project where such things as a dot get on an option is being used so that you can properly deal with that and fix your code before it explodes on you in production which hurts a lot i hope you guys like this small video a small chip for a better life as a developer both for your current self and even more for your future self when maintaining code so keep that in mind and if you liked click the like button below leave comments with more uh, things you want to know about anything you want to know leave it there subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet and that's it see you guys next time thank you bye bye